Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna try this damn thing again. Anyways, what the hell was I doing? Do -do 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 -do. Cam Studio, not what else before. Alright, what are we here for? This is a demonstration of the new QT orbiter. It is not complete yet. Basically, the goal here is to take the power of the QT slash QML declarative UI for um, making user interfaces, that's what it's there for, and marry that with the power of Linux MCE and all of its awesomeness. So, that is our task. As you can see, this little side project has grown a wee bit. Um, main components are obviously our C++ code, but for all of you non-programmers out there, um, we need your help too, because there are these QML files, and all of these actually translate into things um, say for example screen 48 that's actually a screen that gets used somewhere but you don't need to know any programming at all anyways let's get to the point of this fire up the old orbiter oh hi how you doing get rid of that window it's a pain but um anyway orbiter basically basic mock-up of the existing uh, orbiter that is there um, got some buttons, things of that nature, nothing special. Anyways, now we're going to show you what's really interesting about this project so far. It's actually evolved to the point where we are connected to the DCE router, so the new Q Orbiter is actually a full-on DCE device. That means, for example, when I click TV, what do you think happens? Come on, I know you know. What do you think happens? It goes to a screen. Um, that's representative of where the PVR, uh, what do you call it, the uh, data grid, the EPG would go. Um, there's obviously elements missing, but this basically represents a couple of things. One, this is an individual QML file loaded into a larger QML file, meaning that we only have to create one of these similar to the previous designer, and we can drop it into multiple things without having to make every individual screen from the ground up. Same with these elements and those elements. Anyways, so that's roughly it. Um, going to the code, um, just to quickly point out, we get a lot of messages. Got to run you back from the start. Okay, um, screen change. That's actually communication from the UI itself, saying first we go to the splash screen. There's not a lot to do, so you don't even see the splash screen. Then it goes to screen run, which is home. Um, it says, hey, I got a I got told to go to screen one. That's debug data for me, more debug data. This is coming from Linux MCE, from the core specifically, media plugin specifically, actually. Setting, telling us to set icons and things of that nature. Um, this, set now playing, it gives us a screen that we need. Well, actually, no, no screen here, but it tells us what we need to do. Set now playing. Uh, there's some other stuff here. Oh, text, not available. Does that sound familiar? Anyways, um, going down, you'll notice we have go to screen commands. Here, you need to implement go to screen. It's actually implemented, I just left that there for debug. PK screen 48, which is what this actually coordinate correlates to. Okay, and then there's a response. I actually, this is debug of making sure it's sending the right things screen changed go to that screen hey we've gone to that screen so on and so forth anyways that is essentially where we're at two turntables one microphone oh another example we got a command to go to uh, because I have the uh, what do you call it I have a SD card in my VM so what is this screen well I just made it just as an example for pop-ups I got a command to go to a pop-up pop-up hard drive screen Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more filled out in the future, but you get the point. Anyways, that is all. 